Yo, Jeshua. What's up? He's got his hogs. They saw him in a video yep. about two months ago. Okay. And now he's got to do the deed of actually fulfilling their destiny. <laughs> actually, though. At least one of them. Is that him? One of them today. The is that one. it or is it the other one? Nope. It's on over here. So if you're wondering why I was bringing the tractor over in the intro, this is why. See, he was thinking about hoisting it up out of here from a tree and then dragging it. And yeah, it was I, was, I was like, dude, let me, let me just bring the tractor over. Yeah. Do you a favor and just pull it out. So we're hoping that's as smooth as it goes. He's already laying there ready. Oh God. It's going to be interesting. You know, that one don't actually look that big. The other one. And it gets He's big. just really fat, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's big, but. Is that the chosen one today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna keep getting bigger. Get All right, to work. Well, let's figure out how to get this. Don't flinch, Malachi. Yo, I can't, I, I promise. Don't I can't, flinch. I think maybe. I gotta see this I, for no docu guarantees. <laughs> documentary purposes so we don't do the wrong things we do this time next time. No, in all honesty, guys, we might be giggling here and there, but it's not because we have pleasure in killing a pig. Nine mil in the chamber. That was interesting, to say the least, fam. That was interesting. I learned some things, though. Just to be clear, it's not like we have some kind of weird pleasure in necessarily the putting down. It sounds weird. It's, it's really just the harvesting of our livestock. It's just kind of like, I don't know. The way I look at it is that's just a natural way of life. That's just how reality is. But most people never see the reality of how that's, that sort of stuff should take place because they live in this fluffy bubble of you know, the only time I ever have anything to do with, you know, livestock or meat is when I see it on a menu and that's it. Like that's the extent of their connection to what they eat. And to me, it just kind of seems like that's fine. If you do that, I still go out to eat all the time. That's not what I'm saying. I still buy groceries from the store, but I'm in my mind, it's not for everybody to have to necessarily harvest their own animal and do the processing and all that stuff themselves. That's not my point. But my point to make here is if you think that it's wrong to harvest your own livestock, to put on your table, should you be eating meat? That's my question. I'm all for it, but I don't think you should be somebody that thinks it's wrong to harvest your own livestock, like raise it yourself, shoot it yourself, quarter it yourself, grind it down yourself, put it in your freezer, and then eat it yourself. If you see something wrong with that process, you should not be consuming proteins like that. Like meat proteins, you shouldn't, you shouldn't even go there if you think that there's something wrong with people that choose to live life in a sense that's different than yours. Other than there being 20X entries live to enter to win this truck now, um, we're gonna be shooting our bow. And on the topic of wild game, farm raised game, proteins, meat, all that good stuff. Deer season opens tomorrow for urban hunting properties, which is where I hunt, and I'm freaking stoked. So we're gonna be getting the crossbow out, not only the crossbow, we're gonna get out my uh, compound. We're gonna do a little bit more shooting. I know we shot through the window of this. Everything seems to be in tune, great, but I wanna get out and do a lot more further distance practicing, like 40 yards, and then uh, just really, really, really work on that the most, just because the really close stuff isn't necessarily hard to do. I wanna work on being able to be steady enough to get super accurate at 40 plus. That way all the closer shots are much easier. My brother's gonna be hunting with me quite a bit cause we're gonna be doing um, full blown hunting episodes for Brotherhood Outdoors all over again, which this is a Brotherhood Outdoors cat from a long time ago. It brought back some memories. It's kind of goofy looking, but this was one of my first hats I ever sold forever ago. And I just thought, you know, let's let's put it on, you know, with the thoughts that deer season starts tomorrow and filming hunting videos and going big on YouTube doing that was like my biggest dream when I was like 15, 16. It just didn't seem to pan out at the time, but that does not mean you should give up on something that didn't work out the first time. So we're gonna keep on going at it. We're gonna be doing some filming. We're gonna be filming some hunts. My brother already works for me full time. And I said, hey, how about this? Monday through Fridays, if you wanna make some extra cash, I will pay you the same hourly wages for you to sit in the stand and film my hunts mornings and evenings and then in the middle of the days you work. He said, yeah, I'm down, let's do it. So 
He's gonna be going in the stand with me, get some videos filmed, edited, and posted up for you guys for the Brotherhood Outdoors channel as well, just because I don't necessarily know if YouTube's going to be the biggest fan of that. I know that there are a lot of hunting channels that are totally fine and untouched, but I know that there's also some that get a lot of backlash from YouTube and they lose their channels and videos and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'm thinking about when it comes to the actual hunts being filmed and produced, that will probably be on the Brotherhood Outdoors YouTube channel, which link is always in the description below. First shots, 30 yards. Bottom left. We sent some arrows, we got a little shooting in, and pretty fun, pretty good time. Reagan got sighted in, she did some 30 yard shooting, some 25 yard shooting, some 20 yard shooting, some 10 yard shooting, just cause her bow's only shooting about 40 pounds, so she has to have her pins a little bit closer together um, than like I do, so she's gotta practice for more yardage variables, cause her arrows, the way they fly is a lot different than mine. Now this isn't where I'm gonna be hunting tomorrow because tomorrow is only the opening for urban archery hunting. It's not necessarily opening archery for like statewide hunting. So like 90% of the state cannot hunt tomorrow unless it's on urban zone designated areas. But look at this food plot, it's looking so good. Now this is the plot of course, just back behind my house. Um, but it's, it's growing really good. Really good. For as much as the chickens have been tearing at it, it's still, it's still growing really nice. I'm really surprised. Don't forget, if you want to enter to win this truck, every one dollar is now 20 entries to win this thing, and that deal ends on September 21st. And just so you guys are fully aware, this is the I think he's done. Okay, just so you guys are fully aware, this is the best and biggest entry multiplier that there's gonna be the entire giveaway. So there's not gonna be a deal better than 20X entries. So if you wanna grab 20X entries, it ends September 21st. And as far as the OBS Ford goes for the winner, we should have a winner for you guys in the next one to two days. Don't hold me to that, but it should be within the next 48 hours. We should have confirmation of who won that truck. We are on the road to Dunham Sports. This video is brought to you by Dunham's. Joking, Dunham's doesn't sponsor Wait. us. They never sponsor us for anything. I don't, I don't even shop at Dunham's, so, so it's like, why would they? Stopping at Dunham's today for the first time in forever, which is actually the Dunham's that's in the same parking lot as where the Whistling Diesel Meat was, because that's like right by our town where we live. But we gotta go pick up a rangefinder because I was shooting today and I just realized we have one rangefinder. Well, we had two. Well, we have one rangefinder now. I'm getting to that part where she lost the other one. And yeah. so, okay. yeah, so basically, what we have to do now is go buy a really good one for me and then she can use the old one. But yeah, so that way everything's fair and square. We're ready to go for the morning. This is like the best time of year. Like beans turning yellow, corn's dying off. I mean, everything's looking good. Leaves are changing color a little bit. I mean, this is like literally one of my favorite times. Actually, this is my, the favorite time of the year for me. I mean, it's awesome. Hopefully we can grab a rangefinder, get on back down to the house and wrap this up but hopefully tomorrow morning. He has to give me the crappy range finder because he knows that's the only advantage he'll get. You can just knock it off. It's okay that I have a bigger buck than you. You know, you can move with that. You know, just, okay, now you're cutting a little too deep. <laughs> so I may have just made a, a wonderful purchase. Look at this fine specimen. It's it's like, it's almost like it's better than hers. You see, you see I'm those? not using no, 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 I'm hey, using your hey, crappy keep one. Keep your hands off the merchandise. <laughs> You see how beautiful this is? Nikon Pro Step 1000. You can literally see like a million yards, I think. There's a fly in your camera. Probably, because I'm so fly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're actually at that parking lot where lots of burnouts took place. And it's so funny because there's literally just like burnout marks everywhere. And uh, there's just like chunks of asphalt missing all over the place where you can see two tires are spinning and just completely tore it up. It's so funny. If you guys are ever in the area, 
But you haven't checked this thing out since then without any trucks on it? You should. It's actually kind of funny. Maybe you should go apologize to the employee you traumatized and kid to kid. Yeah. <laughs> traumatized that, <laughs> that poor Karen. There's more burnout. 